got it. Snug them up by hand there. Grab a ratchet and tighten them down real quick. So they're nice and snug. Not snug enough to where it's going to damage the cable or anything. And uh, it's designed to fit right around LMR 900, so you can tighten these all the way down. You don't have to worry about it damaging it. Then you're going to weatherproof it. Grab your roll of mastic. You're going to use these to place around the part of the ground kit that sticks up. If you didn't do that, when you wrapped it around, this sharp edge would cut right through the mastic and it would not be weatherproofed anymore. You put one of them there. One right on the other side. Just kind of smash it down, get it pressed up against the edges, and get it smoothed off a little bit so it gives it a, a clean look after you make the wraps. And you're going to cut one more small piece. And you want to take this piece and tuck it right under the wire. right down on the edge here. Just kind of push it up like that and press the wire back down into it. That's going to keep the water from being able to get any moisture from getting up underneath so that every point the water could get in is completely sealed. Like I said, just make sure it's nice and smooth off so you don't have any large ununiform lumps. Take the rest of your roll of mastic. Bring the mastic up about an inch above the ground kit where you strip the jacket off up on top. Also notice I started at the bottom and worked my way up. I'm going to do the same thing when I apply the tape. It gives it a shingling effect so when the water does come down it won't catch and be able to get in. It will just flow right over. Just smash it down. Make sure all the, the air is out of it. Any inconsistencies. When you're completely done with this, you want it to almost look like the shape of a little football. The inspectors will look for stuff like that. They're going to look for, you know, the sharp edges. If you left the sharp edges in there, they're going to know it because they're going to feel it and it's, they're going to see it start to poke through. Grab your roll of tape. You're going to make three wraps. And again, you're going to start at the bottom. Start about an inch below where the mastic leaves off. In your first wrap, you're just going to want to put on there snug. You're not going to want to put it real tight. If you put it on too tight, the mastic's going to kind of squeeze through the cracks. It's not going to look as nice. In your second two wraps, you're going to put on as tight as you can get it. Because that will take all the wrinkles out of the tape and make it look very neat. Come up about an inch above the top. Now that you're there, you'll really start stretching this tape. And you'll notice as I start to pull this nice and tight, it's going to get a nice clean look to it. And the mastic is soft enough to where it's just going to gel right into place. And when you get it nice and tight, trust me when I say the inspectors will be looking for it to be nice and tight and clean like this. If you have a lot of wrinkles, a lot of air bubbles, a lot of bumps, that's the place where the water can get in. Now my third.
third wrap, I'm going to finish going up again. So you get that shingling effect so the water will flow right off of it. It has no chance of getting in. This is usually the wrap that I'll pull the tightest. up on top here, Let's make a couple wraps, and then you're always going to want to cut it off with a knife. You're not going to want to just pull it and snap it off. You cut it off and you unwrap just a little bit and then reapply it nice and soft, not pulling it tight. Reason being, if you were to take that and just pull it off real tight, snap it down, it's going to, as soon as it gets warm out, it's going to have so much pressure on it, it'll just back right off and start unraveling. You can see how it looks like a, a nice clean shape, like a football. It's nice and tight, no air bubbles or gaps. It's going to be on the tower like that, and you can see i got a five foot lead here. Reason being, it's adjustable. If you got your bus bar, which is what you're going to attach the lead to, if your bus bar is one foot down, you just cut your wire and attach the lugs to it. Each ground kit comes with a hardware kit. It's got uh, lugs, little heat shrink tube, washers, and bolts to attach it to the bus bar. Um, if you were to, to cut your wire off wherever you wanted, or if you wanted to leave it five feet, if your, your bus bar was five feet below the connection, just take your lug, slip it on the end, crimp it on there, and take the heat shrink tube that also comes in the hardware kit. just heat shrink over the, the area where you crimp your lug on. It just keeps the water from getting in the wire right there. Then you attach it to your bus bar and you're good to go.